Today I'm going to take you through a 20 minute intermediate level parallax workout. You can do it as a follow along me. You can also do this workout with a sturdy pair of hexagonal dumbbells. We're going to kick it off with a brief bodyweight warm up consisting of four exercises, 40 seconds each, linking one straight into the other for just one round. Nice and simple start. We're going to circle the arms for 20 seconds forwards, 20 seconds backwards. You can do it kneeling or standing. It's up to you. So nice big circles, getting the shoulders warmed up. And change direction. After this, I'm gonna get the shoulders stretched out with some reverse plank lifts. So if you take the parallettes, put them behind you, lift the hips, squeeze the glutes, hold for free, and then back down. Lift back up, squeeze the glutes, tuck the ribs down, and back in. Squeeze the glutes under, tuck the ribs down and in. You might feel the stretch on the biceps and the front of the shoulders. Okay, now we're gonna move onto some wrist circles. So just circling the wrists, 20 seconds one way, and then we'll do it 20 seconds back the other way. and change direction. After this, we're gonna be lying face down on the mat, doing some prone over-unders. You're gonna try and keep your head, forehead in contact with the mat and keep your lower back relaxed. All right, let's get into the main workout. We're gonna do five exercises, 40 on, 20 off, the three rounds in total, starting with a pseudo push-up. You can do these as full push-ups, or you can do these as negatives, or you could mix and match, starting with full push-ups, and then switching to the negatives if you run out of reps. So we're gonna have these angled in, palms facing forwards. You're gonna lean the shoulders forwards, Slowly lower down, keeping the elbows tucked in, and then push back to the top. So we've got this reverse grip on the parallettes. We've got an exaggerated forward lean. We've got the elbows tucked in nice and tight, keeping my core tight. I've got my parallettes at about a right angle. 45 degrees, so they're not all the way under, but that's just what's comfortable for me. Great job, that was a tough one. Okay, we're gonna go back into that reverse plank position. But this time, we're gonna hold top position the whole time, and we're gonna do an alternating march. You'll probably feel this through the hamstrings. So lifting up, and then you're gonna take one knee into the chest, return, and then alternate this march, trying not to lose too much hip height.
keeping the glutes up, ribs tucked down and in. Maintain that hip height throughout if you can. Okay, next up, we're gonna do some tuck planch lifts. This is the planch progression. So if you start kneeling on your shins, you're gonna lean forwards. What we're gonna do, we're gonna draw one leg off the ground, pulling the quad up towards the chest. So you're gonna push down into your hands, draw one leg up, and then return, and then go with the next one. So your toes are pointed backwards. You're just pushing down through the straight arms, almost rounding your upper back as you compress one knee up towards the chest, lifting that same foot. You're gonna alternate sides, just working on some of that planche strength. Make sure you've got a forward lean to the shoulders. Shaking the arms off. Okay, next, I'm gonna be in a seated position. We'll be lifting the hips up and off the ground, doing some alternating leg lifts. So your hips should be between the hands, if you can. Keep your hips hovering off the floor. If your shoulders are getting too tired, you can do this just seated on the floor. Pushing the shoulder blades down, trying to depress the shoulders down, not sinking into them, trying not to shrug. getting tired on the arms there. But we're gonna have a break after this next exercise. We're gonna do some pike push-ups. We can do negatives for these as well. I'm gonna put the parallettes just wider than the mat. We're gonna make a tripod shape between the head and the hands. So you're gonna scoot down and then push them back in the same angle you went down to the mat for. If it helps, unlock your knees and then lift the tailbone, keeping a nice flat back position. You can even come onto the tiptoes to give you a bit more of a vertical press. well needed 40 second rest now. So we've got three rounds in total. So we're gonna do those again. Shoulders definitely need a rest. We're gonna start back with those pseudo push-ups. You can do the negative version or maybe do a few full ones to start and then switch to negatives when you run out of reps. So I've got that reverse grip or semi-reverse grip on parallels. Keeping the elbows pretty tight to the sides. You've got an exaggerated forward lean. So that reverse plank position, doing the march.
Okay, we're into that. Tuck planche doing the alternating lifts. So you're drawing the quad up towards the abs and chest, keeping both toes pointed back behind you, pushing down into the parallettes. Almost release your hands for a second in between each rep, helping the shoulders recover. Okay, into that seated position. If you're looking to level up your training and experience significant strength development, try my Calisthenics Evolution Plan, available as a one-off ebook and also included in the TPT Studio members area via the workout plan section. The plan includes four meticulously crafted reps and set style calisthenics workouts for optimal strength development. Each exercise includes beginner, intermediate and advanced options with video demos making it suitable for all abilities and giving you progressions to work up through. Check it out via the link in this video's description after your workout.
And that's a wrap. Thanks for joining in that workout. If you fancy continuing, here's another workout you can do right now. If you're ready to finish, here's a quick cool down stretch you can do now. See you again soon for another one.